then shall be brought to pass the word saying. The word saying is the word logos word. Be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in what? Victory. With the return of Christ, when the corruption has put on what? And the mortal has put on what? Changed. Then this comes to pass. Not now. Look at Second Thessalonians. Oh, this is wonderful, people. Second Thessalonians. Chapter 2. Verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming, the word coming is parousa, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering to gather unto him. Go back, keep this finger there and go back to chapter 4 of First Thessalonians, just a page or so back. Let me put this stuff together for you easily and simply. Verse 13, chapter 4, First Thessalonians. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are what? That ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Verse 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the return, the coming, producer of the Lord, shall not prevent, the word prevent is precede, them which are asleep. 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ are going to do what? Rise first. Dead in Christ. The corruptible ones are going to do what? Rise first. Then, 17. Then means what? Keep your time right. Then, we which are what? Alive and remain shall be caught up together with them, the dead in Christ who have just been raised, we shall be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in what? Does the Lord come upon the earth for this gathering? No. The dead in Christ rise. Those that remain are changed and they meet the Lord where? So shall we ever be with the what? Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. These are words of comfort. You see, if some people were already up there and we still slave laboring down here, wouldn't be any fun. But the way God has worked this out is that everybody gets there at the same time with all the blessings that he has made available. And what a tremendous truth, people. Now that is the first phase of Christ's second coming. Do you understand it? He comes for his people, the saints. Those who have died since the day of Pentecost as believers, their bodies are corrupted, 
the dead in Christ are going to be what? Raised what? Then those which are alive and remain at that moment have to be what? Changed. And they're mortal. That's why those mortals have to put on immortality and those who have been corrupted have to put on what? Incorruption. It's so simple. Yet it answers every question that the human heart could ask. This is, first phase is Christ coming for his saints or for the church of the body called the gathering together. The second phase of the return is Christ coming with his saints. Just a change of prepositions. First is coming for his saints. Second phase is coming with them. In the first phase, he does not come upon the earth, right? You meet him in the air. Second phase, he comes upon the earth, but he comes with his saints. That coming with the Lord of the second phase, the Greek word is, Apocalypse is English word, they call it apocalypse, translated over into the word revelation. It is called the day of the Lord in the book of Revelation when he comes with his saints upon the earth. Second Thessalonians that I told you to keep your finger in it, you still got your finger. Chapter 2 again. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, by our gathering together in verse 2, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or trouble, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter, as from us, as at the day of the Lord. day of Christ is the day of the Lord. Is at hand, is set in, is the text that the day of the Lord is set in. Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day, that day of the return of Christ upon earth shall not come. Then your King James says, except there come a falling away first. In the translations before 1611, this scripture is much more accurate in some of those translations. And tonight you'll understand it. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day, speaking the day of the Lord, shall not come except there come a departure. And the departure is the first part of the second coming, which is the gathering of the saints, the believers, dead in Christ, so forth. That's the departure. This second part here, this coming of Christ with the saints upon the earth cannot come except there be first a what? Departure. Shall not come except there come the departure first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Look at verse 7 here of chapter 2. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Verse 8. Then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall destroy with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his Apocalypse is his coming. Even him, 
verse 9, whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of truth that they might be what? Saved. Look at 1 Corinthians 15 again, please. Verse 22. For as in Adam all what? Even so in Christ shall all be made what? But each one in his own what? Order. Verse 25. For he must reign till he, God, hath put all enemies under his feet, Christ's feet. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is what? Death. That last enemy is death. See, the first part of the second coming is he coming for his saints. The dead in Christ shall rise. Those that are alive are changed. Then after a period of time, how long, I don't know. Some Bible scholars say a thousand years. Somebody else says something else. Tell you the truth, I don't know. All I know is going to happen. And if it's a thousand years, so what? It's five minutes. I don't care. <laughs> as long as it happens. Then he comes with his saints upon the earth. And that is the day of the Lord. And that's when all those judgments start. And that's when you have the first resurrection and finally the second 